Hello, this is Olivier back for a new video. As I mentioned in my last videos, I I told you that, you know, for those who follow me, you know that uh, I used to live over the last five years in Brazil, later on in the US for some years, and I came back to France since a year, right? And uh, I went back to the, the my original house, which is a family house. And uh, yeah, coming back, I, I did uh, quite some refurbishment and you know, obviously, I had to 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 do my my music room, right? There is uh, many things now. I mean, everything is in place. There is probably still some some fine tuning that I need to do, right? But uh, yeah, I I acquired many records, but as well different um, materials of the years, uh, and uh, you know, I was uh, thinking about this project for for quite some time. Uh, it took me almost a year to finalize, means during a year I was not able to listen to one record, which has been really, really difficult time. Uh, but now, look, everything is in place, I'm really happy about the result. Um, I upgraded all my my audio system, right? I mean, uh, yeah, I had a, the, my previous audio system was uh, one which I put together kind of 20 years ago and uh, it was a decent, really good one already. But I, I wanted to go for, for, you know, better material and more audiophile, even if I'm not an audiophile, but, you know, at the end, I mean, it sounds great. So, so look, uh, without uh, waiting, I, I will just turn the camera and uh, start to, to, to show you the result. So here it is. That's the, the view of my listening station right i have a here a, a, a couch where i'm sitting and you know to listen to the music so you have a, basically i mean the third table cd player and i will come back to that and the, the amp and the, or the the preamp and the amp uh, <clears throat> i have a second turntable table here which is my former turntable which i kept so far and i will keep it right i mean i i will probably Put different cartridge on it, and uh, and here <clears throat> my cassette player, which uh, this one I have for many many years, uh, probably thirty years, and uh, I acquired it as a, as a kid. <clears throat> you have the speakers on one side, speakers on the other side, and here, right? I mean, I just put uh, different uh, Led Zeppelin stuff. I uh, really really. Uh, you know, like Led Zepp as uh, many of us, and uh, you know, I had here. You see, this is a, a poster, which is an original poster from the seventies, right? Uh, and uh, this one is a copy which came later. Really, a picture that you you see relatively often with uh, the band in front of their plane. Um, that uh, it's a memorabilia that I bought uh, uh, two years maybe ago which is the, the, the ticket from a concert in Chicago, which didn't t take place, right? That was in in uh, 1980, and uh, they they cancelled the, the, the concert as uh, Bonham, uh, unfortunately, passed away. And uh, the three, uh, yeah, you have here three, uh, seven inch, and here it's the Led Zeppelin free copy. Um, or, or record it's a it's an original Ukraine uh, not Ukrainian um, Uruguayan press so which is uh, which is quite difficult to find and which I found uh, you know back in the days where I was living in Latin America so yeah getting closer now <coughs> so starting with uh, the, the turntable uh, it's a VPI turntable prime it's a really a great turntable. I was looking up for this turntable for, for quite some time and I bought it when I was in the US. But I bought it not with the US motor, uh, as probably some of you will know. There is a difference. Uh, US is 110, Europe is 220. So, so I bought it with the motor of 220 and I was still living in the US, means I was not able to, to play it. But I knew that I will come back to Europe, that's why. Uh, <clears throat> the tone arm here, is a 3D printed tone arm, so it's basically in one piece, right, to avoid any vibrations. And again, that's really great, it plays really well. You know, you can shake the thing, the record will not move because everything is, is mounted here 
on, on these special uh, devices. Um, yeah, then my uh, preamp and my amp, uh, which is Macintosh. Uh, <coughs> the, the, the preamp is a Macintosh uh, C2600 uh, with the, the view meter, which is really, really nice in my view. Uh, it's a full amp, as you can see here. You see the amps on the top, full amp preamp, and uh, uh, a Macintosh 275, which in my view is a wonderful, really wonderful uh, piece of equipment. Uh, uh, you know, it it sounds um, gorgeous. And uh, look, I will do in the, the the next near future some some videos <clears throat> playing some some of the music right but it, it sounds wonderful and i really like as well the fitting on the side right for the <clears throat> for the different uh cables speakers and you know to go to the <clears throat> to the preamp here i mean the cd player is nothing special right that's that's the the cd player from my wife uh, when she was a kid so that's uh, uh, as well, uh, probably 30 plus years old. And, uh, you know, why nothing special on CD player? Just because I don't really listen to CD and I don't owe a lot of CD, right? So if you look here, that's all my CDs, right? M many of them are my wife's CDs somehow, right? And, uh, and you know, <coughs> back in the days when I was a kid and the CD came out, I was probably kind of 17 years old or something like that and uh, at that time right I, I i could not afford to buy a cd player so i just continued to to listen to record and obviously many of my friends which were older which were already working started to 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 buy cd player and and sell their records and that's somehow oh, i started my collection buying the records from my friends which were moving to city and <laughs> later on right when i could have afford the cd player my record collection was getting already a bit bigger and uh, you know finally I just stayed uh, with uh, with vinyl all the time which uh, look I, I think uh, I, I loved the support itself I mean the sound again you know back in the days my equipment was uh, really basic so it was maybe not the greatest sound but uh, but again if you have the right uh, setup uh, with the, the records and good quality records we all know that it sounds uh, much better than any digital music and here <coughs> that's my <coughs> cassette player which uh, as i mentioned before is uh, as well uh, you know the original one <coughs> which i had as a, as a kid and <coughs> it's, it's a technics and it comes as well with uh, view meters and it's a bit you need to slide the cassette in it's a bit a special way to put the cassette <coughs> So yeah, and that's uh, my speakers, which are uh, a Klipsch 43, which I, I bought as well during my time in the US. So <clears throat> moving here in the corner, uh, <clears throat> I mean, look, let me maybe first show you. <clears throat> so here I have uh, some, some records. Uh, it's uh, the, the Kallax from Ikea that uh, many <clears throat> of you are using and uh, they are <laughs> really perfect, right? I, I use the <coughs> the Kallax uh, for to store my record for for many years. I mean until now because I changed it and you will see on the, on the other side. But I still have the Kallax <coughs> with uh, it's more the pop rock session section. Let's say here <coughs> I have some 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 doubles. Uh, I mean I used to to buy or I, I still buy sometimes collection when the opportunity comes and and then obviously sometimes you get some doubles here i have some 45s i have some more 45s over here <clears throat> i used to play guitar as well many years ago i still play a bit right but uh, i'm not <clears throat> the, the greatest uh, guitar player um and uh, you know so that's uh, yeah my guitar collection somehow right i mean this is the guitar my original guitars i was Used to play in a in a band, uh, you know, again thirty years ago, thirty plus years ago, and that was uh, the, the my original. I had a few over guitars before, but that was the last one I bought, uh, which was a Gibson SG, and 
Yeah, some over guitars here, which I bought them later on. Here you have some posters and, and, and some pictures. I mean, all the pictures you see here, right? It's Scorpion, Europe. Uh, here you have Alice Cooper in the back. <clears throat> and that was a, a festival somehow, which took place uh, in east of France, close to where I'm living. That was uh, already some time ago. Not sure about the date anymore, 2010, so 10 years ago. And uh, I knew the guy who was doing the pictures, right? For the, the you know, there was a professional uh, guy there doing pictures, I knew him. And uh, I was able to get, uh, to get uh, some of these pictures, right? Which I was really happy because they are really, really nice. Yeah, so, and here you have Crucified Barbara as well. Yeah. <clears throat> so coming back here now, uh, that's my, uh, VPI uh, washing machine uh, yeah so I wash all my records and I put them in anti-static sleeve and and all this stuff right so and here are some further pictures from the same uh, concert as I mentioned before so you have here uh, the audio setup here you have the armchair where I'm sitting when I'm listening to the music and and that's part of you know the records you see here and here is the main uh, part of my collection. Um, these racks are relatively new. I put them in place some months ago. Um, yeah, I used to, to, to have uh, the, the Kallax as on the other side. And uh, I, I just uh, went to, to a specialized shop which was doing furniture for, for kitchens. And I gave them some, some drawings of what I would like to have. And, uh, and they just built them for me, um, you know, for me, I really liked this way, and I have seen that in in some videos or in in some shops as well, right? And uh, and uh, and I really like the way to have the records like that because it's much more easy to go through, and you know it reminds me a bit of uh, doing crate diggings in record shops, which I I really really like. So so that's uh, yeah, that's the way I set that up. And here you have uh, the the metal uh, hard rock section. And, and in the bottom here and, and on this side, it's all the, the psych, uh, prog, classic rock uh, stuff, right? I, I thought about the way to, 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 to arrange this uh, collection for, for many uh, um, years somehow, right? And uh, I think at the end, I, I, I watched a lot of videos as well on YouTube from, from different people who were explaining how they, 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 they stack and they rank their records and at the end, right, I, I think, uh, you know, what I, uh, what I retain from all of that is that uh, there is not a single way to do it. I, and, you know, the best way to do it is just the way that uh, you will find the back your records. And that's what I did. So we are getting closer now. Uh, look, let's start with this metal section. So you have the, the top racks. And as I mentioned before, you can flip through and uh, I have them all A, B, C, D, uh, alphabetic uh, order. Uh, when I have a larger part of the, the uh, you know, for one band, when I, I get uh, more than five records from the same band or complete collections, I have a, you know, a special, uh, you know, divider where I have the name of the band. So that's accept and tracks and so on, right? Def Leopard, Dio. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it. And here in the back, so you see you have uh, uh, three level. Each level contains, yeah, it depends, but up to 100 records. And these ones are sliding out. And, uh, you know, you have uh, as well some of the records, right? And the same with the rack in the back they are or in the bottom they are sliding out as well so that's as i said before more the psych uh, psych blues rock prog rock classic rock section so you see for example i put black sabbath in, in this section and even put it in the metal hard rock section right it's again just uh, my way to to classify that and you have as well all the other stuff right here 
and then same principle these ones are sliding out and you have access to all the records and again you can really flip through which is really convenient so the last part uh, let's see what i have here yeah i have here some posters i mean that was a concert i was uh, i think it was two years ago in atlanta uh was uh, the the farewell tour from slayer uh that was uh amon amart concert with abaf which i saw in brazil back in the days here i have uh, the first uh, lp from sepultura which is the the split uh, lp with overdose on cogumelo label and that's uh, really a special record it's a rebellion and uh, that's uh, really a unique record. There is only one in the world, right? Because I mean, that's uh, the, the record of the band I was playing in uh, when I was 17 years old. And, uh, and you know, uh, some months ago, my wife, uh, I had a cassette, right? Because back in the days we were recording that on a cassette, the sound was not great. But uh, some months ago, my wife found a way to, to do a record with this cassette, which I was really happy with. And, I might uh, take the record out and, and show you the, the, the record uh, at the end of the video. I really liked it. So now we are coming here where I, ha I have some box sets. You have the Aussie box set, which is here. See you on the other side and two other box sets here. Some, some books, music related books. And here are some more posters, Rolling Stone as well, that I, I saw the America Latina uh, tour in 2016 in Brazil. Here, that's the ticket from Woodstock, original ticket uh, for the three days, but I'm missing the Friday. Uh, the Friday was not on the ticket anymore. And here, the Rolling Stone magazine, which is original one, which covers uh, the... Uh, the Woodstock Festival, right? So it come, came out in September 1969, as you can see. So, yep, I will just turn back so you see them again, the other side of the room, and, and you can imagine how this room is made up. So to finish this video, uh, I took off of the wall the the this record right which uh, as i said before is the the band rebellion where i i was playing being a kid and uh, so here that's the front cover and it's a you know really renowned painting in france uh, which shows uh, the french revolution right here it's a gatefold so in the inside cover uh, they put the, the, the pictures of, of the band, right? So so that's the, the band, that was the lead singer, the bass player, and the drummers, and, and he he used to be, or still is, my, my friend since we are, you know, really going to the kindergarten. And that uh, that was me, or it's me, right? <laughs> but a long time ago, and that was the, the second guitarist. Uh, here you have uh, the different titles. It's... Uh, we 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 were singing or uh, in French. Uh, I think for those who know the band Trust, a French band, it's kind of uh, yeah that was relatively close or to, to Trust, right? Because that's a, a band that we really loved and uh, and it was the type of music we were doing. Um, here another picture and uh, here that's me again on the top here and uh, the back of the cover with uh, a nice picture. Uh, it was a friend of mine as well who did the picture. And uh, yeah, here you have the band and, and that's me again. Rebellion. So again, that's a unique piece because uh, yeah, it was offered to me for my birthday and it was pressed coming from the cassette. And here you have the label, it's two records. They put that on two records and they put the uh, yeah, special label taking part of the cover on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look, uh, if you liked it, you know, push the, the, the like button. If you 
are not subscribed i mean please subscribe and uh look uh see you see you next time thank you bye